Have you ever used ChatGPT to write a short story? Today, I'm going to talk about how I use ChatGPT to get over my writer's block. And by the end of this video, I'm going to share with you the results, which is a short story that I ended up writing. Hello, my name is Victoria, and I have been writing short stories for quite a few years. I write under a pen name, and in that series, I've currently written about 22 short stories. The stories range from 2,500 words up to around 22,000 words. But over the last year or so, I've had a stumbling block. I'm not quite sure what's happened, but for some reason, I just couldn't sit down and get to writing. I used to have a regular routine of sitting down and writing for about an hour, which would give me around a thousand words. But for some reason, I got out of the habit. And when I tried to get back into the habit of writing, I just couldn't sit down and get to it. Every time I kept thinking, today will be the day, I would then get overwhelmed and feel like my writing's terrible, I'm not a writer, and so I'd give up and do something else like go and watch Netflix or something. So I needed a way to try and get those juices flowing and to get my motivation back so that I could get back into the writing swing. So I decided to try ChatGPT. Now, ChatGPT is an AI program, an artificial intelligence program, which you can use on the internet. And I've seen lots of people use um, this uh, program to do lots of different things. You can type in a question and then the information will be typed back to you. Now, I've watched a lot of different videos about different people writing books, writing articles, creating YouTube videos, creating Instagram reels by using ChatGPT. So I decided to give it a go. There are different ways that you can use ChatGPT. And the way I decided to use it was to type in prompts and to ask for different requests. One example is I typed in, give me a two sentence prompt for a short story romance. Another example is I typed in, give me a outline for a short story. I'm going to insert an example of one of the prompts that I typed into ChatGPT so you can see how quickly it gives you a response. Once you start trying to ask ChatGPT questions, you'll find that sometimes you'll get what you want and sometimes you'll get things that are not quite right. So there is a lot of trial and error, but it is quite fun and it is quite interesting to see what information you do get. So I tried different prompts to see what sort of information I could get in order to help me use um, the data to create my own short story. At first, when I put in um, give me a short story prompt, sometimes the prompts were far too long and it was too much information. And that's when I condensed it down and said, give me a two sentence prompt for a short romance story between two people that takes place in 24 hours. Then I got much more information that was suitable for the sort of story that I wanted to write. Once I was more sure about the requests that I had for ChatGPT, I got the responses that were much more helpful for me. Once ChatGPT came up with a two sentence prompt idea that I was interested in, I then typed in a request to flesh out this two sentence prompt into a fully fledged uh, story outline for a 1000 word story. That way I would have enough information that would help me to write my story. So once ChatGPT gave me the outline for my 1000 word story, I then asked ChatGPT to summarize this story in eight bullet points. Now why eight bullet points you ask? Well, <laughs> I was using my notebook and I would be handwriting this story and in my notebook I write about 125 words per page so that meant I would be writing eight pages for a 1000 word story hence the eight bullet points because that meant that I would have one page to write one bullet point which would mean I would keep me on target so that I didn't meander all over the place and then lose my way. So now I had the story prompt and how I had an outline that I could follow. So during my lunch break, I sat down and I got to work. And in under an hour, I was able to write eight pages of a short story from start to finish. And wow, I was so pleased because I just let myself just get into writing mode. I was positive, I was motivated, and I felt like 
yes, I could do it. And I actually did do it. So I was so pleased. Now, some people might think that using a story prompt from an artificial intelligence program is in some ways cheating. But if 10 people were given the same story prompt, they would most likely come up with 10 completely different stories. So you are still using your creativity because you have to still think about um, how the story progresses. Even though you've got these bullet points or an outline that's been given to you, you still have to use your own imagination to actually weave a story together. So I didn't think it was cheating. And I just felt like it really helped me to actually get the writing done and to feel like I'd actually achieved something for the afternoon. Afternoon. So the results. Ta da! Ha <laughs> Here is the result of my short story written from a two sentence uh, prompt from ChatGBT. It ended up being uh, three pages, and the word count is 1,122 words. Now, if you are interested in reading my story, then I will leave a link in the description below and you can click and download and take a look. I have also written a couple of other stories and I might add that to the download link as well. I'm not quite sure, we shall see. I might even decide to create a book of short stories and upload them to Amazon. That's another idea, we shall see. So the results of using ChatGPT have been a great success for me. It's helped me to um, get writing. It's sort of helped me get over my writer's block. And I feel really invigorated and motivated to write more, which I definitely will. If you've written with ChatGPT, I would really love to know your own experience. So please leave a comment below and let me know how you got on with ChatGPT and what sort of story prompts came up for you. Okay, that's it for now. Please remember to download my short story. The link is in the description below and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Today I'm going to talk about how... Today I'm going to talk... Once I finesse the type of question that I put... Once I condensed... Once I was more sure about the top. Here is the finished story written from the two. Wow, why am I talking so slowly?